Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Friar Chuck here, back with episode number four of our Pokemon Insurgents Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, in the last episode, we made it, um, made it through Midna Town. Um, we, uh, you know, got all the items and stuff out of there. And then we went to Midna Mine, cleared it out, and encountered Nora, a new... NPC, and we found out that Nora has a Celebi, sort of. She was chosen by Celebi, um, and is potentially one of the, like, chosen ones from the prophecy that are chosen, uh, chosen, that are chosen by specific legendary mons, specifically, um, I think it's Mew, Shaman, Celebi, uh, Hoopa, and Manaphy. Oh, and Victini. Forgot about Victini. But yeah, so they're chosen by those, and they're supposed to, like, do one of the people chosen by them is supposed to bring balance to the force and take out all the cults and all that fun stuff. Um, so we know that uh, we're... We're one of the cult... Or we're one of the chosen... Ones potentially because we have Mew, um, Nora has Celebi, and the uh, first Augur had live editing for just a second here. Okay. And the first Augur had um, Hoopa. So. He was also potentially one of the ones that was chosen. Uh, let's go heal up our mods because we also have to go to the trainer school and do a little um, do a little tournament thingy. Let's buy repels. I will use these $300 on a potion, and now I have $2. Let's do basically what we just did. Do this, buy another 13 and I might as well use that on a Pokeball because that lately really depleted my supply. And now off we go. So we should do a, the trainer uh, or this trainer school tournament is going to be three battles. One of them's against Damien, one of them's against Nora. Spoiler alert, but I mean, kind of got to figure it because they're. You know, unique NPCs. And then, um, we also, we're, and then after that, we'll move on and hopefully we'll get like three or four encounters. Okay, there's a speed up button for this game. Oh, there it is. Totodile. Um, Clarice. <sighs> Haxorus. Haxorus versus Hydreigon. A battle of Gen 2 dragon types. Okay, now I gotta do some look. Oh, wait. McShooty has Ice Shard, so he has priority. And that's all I need. That'll take me down to 15. 
and I sure it's gonna win it. Sweet. We don't get any experience from these battles, that's kinda lame. Delta you mask is poison type. I can tell you that much. I don't know what its other type is. If it even has another type. Poison steel? Or poison grass? Dino. Um, no, we'll stay in. Oh, this is Delta Dino. Which I think is poison ground. I don't go for coil. Interesting team here. Two Deltas and a Latios. All right, David. Blooper. Oh, Delta Blooper. I think it might be Grass Fire. It was just announced in Scarlet and Violet. Spoiler alert. Okay, uh, Wooper has a Paldean form, or Palate, I think it's Paldea is the region, so the Paldean form, and uh, it's ground poison, which is pretty cool. It's a neat typing. I'm trying to think of other ground poison types, and I don't think there are any. You don't know. Clarice, you're not dealing with Infernape, but expand, you can. It's full expansion time. Oh no, I can't use non damaging moves. Whatever will I do? Mud shot. Boom. Yay. Yeah, that's right. All right, what do I get for a prize? <laughs> Shut down, Damien. All right, well, that's the HM for Surf, so... So yeah, I think the gimmick for Orion is basically the sun. So 
So since we have that, we are going to teach Surf to uh, Marsh Top. Oh. Clarice can also learn it, but Clarice doesn't need it. It needs physical moves. I, however, do not need Water Gun anymore. All right, now, time for encounters. The part that we've all been waiting for. We have four mods on the team. We have the potential to fill it out and possibly get a replacement mon, a pink apricorn. I can't get to that item. That's lame. All right, our first encounter is going to be a pantsier. Well, I can tell you right now, that's not going on the team. Because for one, pantsier is bad. For two, you have to have a firestone to evolve it, which we don't have, and I don't know when we would get one. But we'll catch it anyway. Pants here was caught. The fire within the tuft on its head can reach 6,000 degrees. And it didn't specify which temperature reading. Name it Fietti, like Guy Fietti. We're going to roll out and find America's greatest diners, drive ins, and dives. I guess this would be Telnor's greatest diners, drive ins, and dives. Um, Abyssal Cultists. Okay, so we. Physically cannot go that way. A star piece. That's good money. But that's okay, because there's new encounters to be had up here. Ancient runes. Um, a pixie plate. There's our second Arceus item. Max Elixir. A Dread Plate. Oh boy. I'm not ready for Arceus. Um, and I'm not have I'm not gonna have the whole like the wiki berry. The rule about not having multi, you know more than three legendaries on our team um, for this game, just because it's a lot harder than a normal Pokemon game. Okay. <laughs> Number 69 himself, Bellsprout. Sleep Powder. And see, <laughs> I pointed to the screen. You can't see me point, but <laughs> oh, sixty nine noise. I don't know why the screen got dark. Nice. Uh, 
Let's take a look at you, Noise. Zoranite. That's the uh, item that Mega Evolves uh, Zoroark. So that's neat. Impish. I have one attacking move, and it's Sleep Powder. That's that's great. This thing might not even get added to the team. So I'm going to have to grind it for a while for it to be any good. TM. Corrode. I think that is a poison type move that is super effective on steel types. So after our first three encounters were god tier, we have gotten some very, very mid stuff. Wingle, Panseer, Bellsprout, definition of mid. Hey, leave this Ryalu alone. Why did they hold the dares so long? Abyssal Cult ain't gonna crush nobody. Need a Reno. Yeah, hit him with the fire. That's super effective, and it still didn't do anything. You're useless, Need a Reno. Hell yeah. Oh. So much better. We're making a glow up. It's only like a 10 damage point difference, but... <sighs> oh, I would use noise, but... He has no grass moves. Um, okay. Why are we missing? I mean, I know why we're missing, but there's no need for it. Meryl. That's actually kind of scary. I doubt it has a fairy type move right now, but you never know. Lower the speed. Oh, is it going for a defense curl into rollout? Oh, he is. Oh, not very effective. It's actually quad resisted, Meryl, you fool. Childish impudence. Angry Pokemon.
Boom. Mega Lucario. A big pearl. And across the way, what do we have? An X defend. Again, I'm not battling these people yet because we have another encounter to get right here. Cyan Cavern. We're going to snag it right here, apparently. And it is a Pancham. I don't really want that on the team either. It's another dark type, or and another fighting type, which we don't also don't need. We got it. Um, nickname for the Pancham Express. This will probably be something really good. Delta Scraggy, which is a grass type. Would have definitely been an improvement. Okay. We'll take these mods back, deposit them, and then we will try and get through the cave. We could trade that Pancham for a Shiftry. Okay.
I think all we're going to end up doing in this episode is getting through this route and then getting through that cave. All right, let's pop a repel. All right. Dang, that dude getting real upset. <laughs> Whirlipede. That's easy peasy. Not unless you're not if you're gonna protect. And now we're poisoned. Bonsley. Yeah, why not? We'll go out and uh, expand. I'm feeling a little expansion coming on. I didn't mean to go for that, I meant to go for Surf. And pheasant. Uh. 
Icy wind again. Okay, and down goes the un pheasant. Un pheasante. Yeah, sure. Uh, we don't need Lear. All right, gentlemen, Jimmy. Yes, heal my Pokemon. Oh, thank God, it's got the good repel mechanics. Carbos. All right. Well, now we've still got some battles we could do in there. Um, I think there might be an area up ahead where we could get an encounter. I would definitely like to. Um... Sun touched exit way. That is, in fact, a new encounter. Come on. Give me something decent. A Feraligator, or a Croconaw. Croconaw. I mean, that's something decent, but I don't need it. You, sir, are going to go in the box. But I think in the next episode we'll have an chance for well you will have a chance for more encounters, and we'll be able to explore the city in full, and eventually take on the first gym, which will be exciting. Um, on.
Okay, we gotta we gotta switch out. Which is what Clarice is for. Uh. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I am tired of these mons taking so many freaking Pokeballs to catch. It's like we're either getting mons that take, you know, 15 balls to catch or we're getting garbage. There's no in between. Come on. I don't want to sit here forever. This is why these ep I don't get enough accomplished in these episodes. I mean, this game is longer than a lot of other stuff, but... <sighs> You're down in the freaking red. Your only alternative to this is me knocking you out. So just get in the freaking ball. Thank you. Um... Down end it. All right. Now we're going to take you and deposit you while I start wrapping this episode up. So yeah, that's going to do it for episode number four. Um, in the next one, we are going to go out and explore Sun Touch City. And um, we will uh, take... I, hopefully take on the gym. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't be able to. There's this Pokemon Center. So yeah, that'll all be... That's what's in store for us for Episode 5. I kind of think there will be a chance for us to get another encounter too before the... Uh... What does this guy have for me? Nothing. He is, does have a shiny stone. Okay. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. You enjoyed this episode. I'll be back in the next one. This is Friar Chuck saying uh, bye-bye.